one CJ Perry from Morgan running in red and his mark three and a half metres. PJ Herney from New South Wales in white, five and a half. MC McMahon, another former winner from Ivanhoe in blue, six metres. F. Corsello from Templestowe running in the yellow from seven and a half. R. R. Heffernan from uh, Tasmania, seven and three quarters running in green. And GJ Sam Sullivan from Mildura running in pink, nine and a half. The third semi final, Jack Carr. Well, in this semi-final, we have two past score gift winners. Chris Perry, last year's winner, and Noel McMahon, who won the gift in 79. I think Perry's main danger would be Corsello, running in the yellow from seven and a half metres. I feel that those two will fight out the finish, and I have a slight leaning to Perry. Chris Perry is from the same stable as the gift favourite from Dallas O'Brien. Both of those runners trained by Neil King. <coughs> Put up a tremendous performance, of course, to win last year. And uh, he's pretty confident that he can do it again. And uh, if he does, then he'll join the great Bill Howard as uh, a dual winner. And also uh, Barry Foley, but Bill Howard won two in a row, 1966-67. And this man here, Chris Perry, is attempting to do the same thing. According to his training, he's improved since last year, and uh, if so, well then uh, he'll give it a big shake. Well, he's back, uh, he ran from seven last year, he's back on three and a half metres, so it's a fairly severe penalty, uh, but he was a very impressive runner last year, and if, uh, well, after you win a race like Shaw, you do improve, so there's Chris Perry on the, on the mark there. And Perry won his heat on Saturday in 12.39. The uh, other runner with a faster time in this semi-final is Frank Corsello, who ran 12.38 on Saturday. And Noel McMahon, a former winner, ran 12.61. So the winner probably to come from one of those three competitors. McMahon is running in blue. Corsello is next to him on his right-hand side. He'll be running in yellow. And uh, Chris Perry is the back marker in red on the inside. Can you gauge anything from uh, the two times, 12.19, 12.38, about the track, uh, Jack? Well, uh, the fastest time on Saturday was 12.13, so uh, on that run of singletons, you would think that uh, later on the day, Dallas O'Brien would probably have to just run a shade over 12 seconds. Right. Third semi-final. Through to the final so far, Paul Singleton, who won the first semi in 12.19. And John McGill, who won the second semi-final in 12.38. They're taking no risk there with Perry. They cleaned the mud out of his spikes. Plenty of concentration. Uh, he's been there before and, uh, and done it. And the final instructions once more, issued by gift starter Burn Chapman. Runners told to walk to their box for the third semi-final. Field of six. The ground starts to quieten for the start of this semi-final. Semi-final number three. And a break, white. I think, looking at it, yes, white. Penalised a metre. And Chris Perry, next to him, not happy that interruption. So, Paul Herney, who ran 12.70 in his heat on Saturday, goes from five and a half back to four and a half. We now adjust his mark. Back one metre. That's the penalty for a break. from the distance, the, uh, the penalties in the mind also, Jack, isn't it? Yes, uh, it's a shame that these runners are breaking in the semi-final. Look at the, uh, the size of those works. Back in the old days, they used to dig little rabbit holes to put your feet in. <laughs> <coughs> this is frame by frame of the third semi-final start. Watch the runner in white, the gun, and, yes, 
did. Chris Perry got a good start actually next to him. That was bad luck. That's just why he was upset. He did get away brilliantly. But it was a break. So here we are. Second attempt to get the third semi final away. Gotten away this time. Perry started well, and so did Corsello in yellow. McMahon not doing too well at this stage. Now uh, Perry starts to move. He's got 25 metres to go, and he'll get them pretty easy. But McMahon's getting with him down the line. Perry! Perry wins. Third of a metre to McMahon in second place, and Heffernan ran through strongly in the green across on the outside to take third. And an elated Chris Perry, winner of the third semi final. 12.24 the time. And Jack, we look at it in replay. He had to work hard. Oh, yes, he's a, uh, he's a beautiful athlete, though. You can see him there, very upright, strong runner. But uh, he had a little bit up his sleeve, but you watch him break the tape. So I think the stewards might have a word or two to say to him. You're supposed to break the tape with your chest, but he. <laughs> well, he probably did hit it with his uh, chest, but his arms were coming up in the same motion. Uh, he looks pretty happy, and he's with Stephen Phillips. Be delighted with that, Chris. Oh, uh, sure, please. It's a pretty tough semi, really. Uh, Corsello and Noel McMahon, previous winner. Well, uh, Noel being a previous winner, has a bit of class to the field. But, uh, I don't think he's quite running as well as he was last year. Have you got a little tiny bit left in reserve for the final a little later? I showed you about uh, 20 hours I could go a bit quicker, but I suppose everyone can say that, isn't there? Well, you're through to the final. You've got the chance to emulate the great Phil Howard. We wish you all the very best. And we'll be back at Central Park Store in just a moment.